fish keepers. This is Mike with M. Howe Ninth Fish Tanks and welcome back to the fish barn. Today we're gonna see what's in this box right here. I did go uh, to a fish store about an hour and a half away from me and I did purchase some fish uh, to add to the tank back here uh, which is the tank that you see on all of my live streams and also some other fish uh, for another part of the system here in the fish barn. So let's go ahead and get this box opened and see what's inside. All right, we're gonna go ahead and open the box. Uh, I'm just gonna use a set of car keys. I did get these fish from Bruce Pets, which is uh, in Lansing, Michigan. It's about an hour, hour and a half away from me. So, really good store. So if you ever have a chance to go to Lansing, Michigan, uh, I would highly recommend going there. It's a really amazing place. Maybe someday I'll actually uh, go ahead and film it for you. Uh, but I didn't really ask this time, so. And uh, kind of was on a, and I was kind of on a tight, tight time schedule anyway. So let me go ahead here and uh, we'll get this unboxed. All right, so we've got the box open. All right, so we have the fish in here. Uh, so I did decide to kind of go with a cichlid theme on this tank. Uh, so we'll pull the first box, the first bag out. Uh, this first bag is, uh, is called a Swedish Hongai. Uh, it's an Imbuna species. I don't know a ton about them, but these guys are going to go in the tank behind me. So let me go ahead and get these guys uh, floating in the uh, tank behind me. All right. Now the second fish are not going to go in this tank, uh, but these are a breeding group of uh, four zebra obliquidins. And these are going to go in a 75 gallon in that same system that has the Pundamilia nyeri. Obviously not in the same tank. So let me go ahead and I'll get these floated over there. All right, so we now have the uh, Hongi here sitting floating in the tank. So these guys are doing good. Uh, so we'll get them floated here for about 15, 20 minutes and then we'll release them. And then I'll tell you what else is going to go in this tank with them. It's obviously not the uh, Zebra Obliquidens, but uh, we'll go ahead and check on those guys right now too. All right, we've got the uh, obliquidins here uh, floating in this 75 gallon. So uh, once these guys get all uh, temperature acclimated, they'll be ready to go. And we can go ahead and release them into the tank. So we'll check back in here in a little bit. All right, it's uh, now time we're gonna do the uh, plop and drop method. Uh, we're gonna do the hongi first. So let me go ahead and get these guys opened up. Yep, this kind of sticks in this bag, so it's time for them to come out. All right, they're out, and in they go. All right, I'm gonna go get the uh, tank mates to these guys. Okay, we are. Uh, we did have add the other fish in as well. I decided to put these in with the Auto Fairnix Tetra Stigma, so we'll see uh, how this goes. Um, the, the Tetra Stigma have been kind of just hiding out, uh, so I'm trying to get them more uh, outgoing. So I'm gonna put them in this tank with the uh, Imbuna, so hopefully everyone can get a. Uh, can get a little bit more outgoing. The Imbuna will come out of the rock work and stuff and kind of push the, uh, hopefully they'll push the Tetra Stigma out of the rock. So there is one of the um, Swedish Hongai right there uh, coming out and about. Uh, pretty cool looking fish. Uh, if you can see there, the Tetra Stigma is in that rock there. All right, so there is the male Tetra Stigma kind of just hiding out there in the rocks as well. Uh, the female is in here as well, so hopefully these guys will be a little bit more outgoing now that there's uh, some, another, some other fish in here with them. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. Um, and I'm going to do some aquascaping work as well on the, uh, on the tank as well. I'm going to move some of the rocks around. And I have some more rocks downstairs I want to add to. So let's go ahead now and deal with the um, obliquidins. All right, we're now over to uh, where I've got the obliquidins. So we're going to go ahead and get these guys uh, put away as well. All right, if you look in here, uh, one of them was holding, and if I can see in here, um, it spit out some fry. So, so we're gonna get these guys uh, bagged up. We're gonna get the fry out too, and um, we'll see what we can get these. We'll get them some hiding spots, and uh, hopefully we can get some, uh, keep these fry going too. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that unboxing of the uh, new cichlids. I'm uh, really curious to see how everything turns out, uh, see how many obliquidins I get. Uh, from the spawning group 
as well as what happens with the tank behind me. Uh, with that being said, I do uh, wish all of you a very happy holiday. If this is your first time to the channel, uh, I would appreciate it uh, if you enjoy this content, if you would like, subscribe, and uh, share any of the content out that you enjoy. Uh, with that being said, I do appreciate everyone's support, and uh, happy holidays, and we'll see you the